Hello everyone, I'm Osman Ghani and I'm master student at Kyanamnak University. Uh, today I'm going to present uh, a paper uh, which recently published in very prestigious journal Chemical Engineering Journal and the title of my paper is Improvement of Air Cathode Performance in the Microbial Fuel Cells by Using the Catalyst made by binding the metal organic framework and activated carbon through ultrasonication and solution precipitation. First, uh, I would like to uh, introduce my advisor, uh, Dr. Sukhay P. Jung. He received his PhD from Penn State University, USA and currently working as Associate Professor in Department of Environmental and Energy Engineering. Chandam National University. Let's start my presentation. My presentation contents includes microbial fuel cells, cathode, bottlenecks in uh, research field of PMFCs, introduction, methodology, results, and last one is conclusions. So what is microbial fuel cell? Microbial fuel cell is a bioelectrochemical device which used to produce the electrical energy by using the activity of microbial and how it works uh, typically it contains two major parts one is uh, anode and other one is cathode at anode oxidation of medium occurs and at cathode reduction of oxygen occurs uh, when we see the benefits of this technology uh, we can say uh, it uh, produce no sludge and uh, it needs no aeration and uh, it needs no input energy to operate it uh, and it produce sustainable energy in this section the most important part of mfc that is cathode and as i mentioned previously and uh, at this electrode uh, reduction of oxygen occurs uh, cathode has three main parts First one is catalyst layer, second one is current collector, and third one is diffusion layer. On the cathode, oxygen reduction reaction occurs as follows in equation. Generally, platinum cathode uh, is considered as a good cathode uh, because of its high performance, uh, but it has one major problem. Uh, it costs uh, about $1,814 per meter scale, it means it is a costly material and the best alternative uh, has been reported in literature is activated carbon cathode. Uh, it is a low cost material uh, and, but it has a low performance and low conductivity. In this slide, uh, major bottlenecks uh, in the research field of microbial fuel cells. Uh, currently microbial fuel cells facing uh, major issues like uh, less power production, uh, uh, high electrode material cost and low columbic efficiency. So there is a need to overcome these challenges. For this uh, we develop a new material uh, for high performance of microbial fuel cells. Here is the introduction. In this study, uh, we provide cobalt-based MOF, known as uh, ZIF67, and which uh, proved to be very high performance in uh, sense of power and electrical conductivity, and it is a low-cost material. Uh, so we can say it is the best uh, alternative to uh, platinum cathode. However, uh, many MOF-based cathode have been uh, reported in literature but the performance is not as much high. In our study, uh, catalyst showed best performance and electrical conductivity. Uh, and the prosthetic characteristics uh, can be controlled through the combination of metal and organic material linker. Uh, in this study, we synthesize our material using solar thermal method uh, and the solar thermal method improved the crystal crystallinity structure and its metallic on yield and increased the surface area. After synthesizing this material, there is a need to contemplate how to bond this material with activated carbon and give 
high performance and high durability characteristic. So in this study, we use two methods. Uh, one is lotion precipitation method and other is ultrasonication method. Uh, solution precipitation method is a simple and fast process uh, which bound the material without any high pressure uh, or high temperature. And ultrasonication uh, use the ultrasonic radiation from 20 to 45 kilohertz. Uh, and during this method, cavitation bubble explode and release the energy. This uh, characteristic uh, resulted in tightly bonding of material with uh, activated carbon. So in this study, uh, ZIF67 and uh, activated carbon uh, bonded by ultrasonication method uh, uh, denoted as ZIF67U and solution precipitation method uh, denoted as ZIF67H. This section is methodology. Uh, in this, uh, I will talk about MFC operation and cathode fabrication process. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the catalyst was synthesized via uh, salvothermal method. And uh, the next step is how to bond uh, the catalyst with activated carbon. Uh, uh, we use two methods solution precipitation and uh, ultrasonication. Uh, uh, when we see the detailed process uh, in solution precipitation method, 300 mg of catalyst and 1 gram of activated carbon mixed and stirred for uh, 30 minutes at 60 degrees. And in ultrasonication method, same amount of catalyst and activated carbon used and the mixture placed in ultrasonicator for 20 minutes at 10,000 Hz. Next is the cathode making process. Uh, the cathode was made using hot pressing machine. And uh, next is uh, MFC operation. MFC was operated at 100 ohm of external resistance. Uh, using the 50 mm PBSL uh, electrolyte uh, and uh, run uh, in fed batch mode. In this study, the anode used uh, first was enriched uh, for one year uh, in electrolyte, and uh, the, uh, all the experiments uh, uh, in this study were duplicated. Now, I will discuss about the results. Uh, figure 1 showed uh, power density curve in A and, and polarization curve in B uh, for all cathodes. Uh, from the results, you can see in table the highest maximum power density produced by ZIF67U. Uh, this means that uh, bonding and the catalyst with activated carbon using uh, ultrasonication had significant impact on MFC performance. Uh, and the uh, results uh, produced by ZIF67U uh, was about uh, 4203 milliwatt per meter square are the best results uh, in the world uh, in these condition of electrolyte. And from table, uh, the data are uh, uh, slope resistance uh, presented. Uh, you can see. Uh, zif 67 u had lowest resistance among all cathodes. In figure 2, uh, cathode CV data showed with scan rate of uh, 10 mV per second uh, from A to C and D figure showed the abiotic LSV uh, plot uh, of all cathodes. Uh, from the results uh, obtained, uh, you can see in table ZIF67U and H had uh, produced high net current uh, in CV uh, while the reduction P uh, detected at minus 116 millivolt in ZIF67H and at minus 192 millivolt uh, in ZIF67U. While uh, we see the figure D. Uh, abiotic LSV lower cathode per reduction potential in the negative direction uh, means the more 
the more easier uplink of the oxygen reduction reaction. In this slide, uh, figure 3 and table showing the impedance analysis data for different cathodes. Uh, from A to C is Nyquist plot for all cathodes uh, and the data uh, obtained from the results uh, showed the total impedance uh, were 35% of uh, ZIF uh, uh, 67H and 26% of uh, ZIF 67U had decreased uh, than activated carbon cathode. And when we see the charge transfer resistance and diffusion resistance, uh, the both resistances uh, were decreased significantly. As um, uh, mentioned in table, uh, uh, and the last one is uh, bonding of the material to activated carbon uh, also improves the cathode capacitance. In this section, uh, the physical morphology of prepared catalyst showed in figure 4. Uh, A figure is for uh, activated carbon while all others B, C, D for prepared catalyst. Uh, when we interpret the data, it is revealed that uh, ZIF67U had smaller particles than all other materials uh, and structure is more agglomerated. Uh, so, uh, during ultrasonication, uh, the energy released by cavitation resulted in uh, tight bonding of material with activated copper. Uh, from the data uh, presented in this figure and table, we can say uh, ultrasonication method is the best and effective for achieving the high catalytic performance of uh, this catalyst uh, and moreover uh, this method is introduced first time in this field. From the table uh, given in this slide uh, the data related to composition of prepared material presented. Uh, from the data uh, we can see uh, from table the highest uh, nitrogen species found in ZIF67U then ZIF67H. These uh, nitrogen species, uh, first pyridine and species, improve the electron donating capacity and also improve the oxygen uh, adsorption ability on the cathode surface, uh, which help to catalyze the uh, hydrogen peroxide to water. And other important species are uh, pyrrol and species, which create the active site for oxygen reduction reaction and help to catalyze uh, or reduce uh, and help to reduce the oxygen to uh, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, in nutshell, we can say the presence of nitrogen species uh, increase the reaction sites uh, on the surface of uh, cathode which had significant impact on uh, oxygen reduction reaction. Uh, performance of the cathode. In concluding remarks, uh, we can say to improve the cathode performance in the microbial fuel cell, the proposed two methods of material bonding are effective, while the most one effective is uh, uh, ultrasonication method. Uh, and from these two methods, uh, ZIF67U had produced highest maximum uh, power density. Uh, with 4203 milliwatt per meter square, uh, uh, which was 18% of high than uh, ZIF67H and 60% uh, uh, high than activated carbon cathode and 160% higher than platinum cathode. Uh, this bonding method also reduced the charge transfer resistance and diffusion resistance, uh, while the presence of the nitrogen species improve the oxygen reduction reaction and uh, uh, improve the reaction rate also. As discussed in introduction, and these results produced by ZIF67U uh, are the world best results in this medium condition so far. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe the channel for more information and for any question. 
uh, you can visit this gmail id